IOPS, input output operations per second, and throughput are two critical performance metrics used to measure the efficiency and capabilities of storage systems and other data processing devices. Let's talk about input output operations per second. IOPS represents the number of input or output operations that a storage system can perform in one second. It is a measure of the storage system's ability to handle read and write operations, indicating its responsiveness and input-output processing capabilities. A higher IOPS value indicates a faster storage system that can handle a larger number of operations per unit of time, resulting in better performance for applications that require frequent access to data. IOPS is especially important for applications with small, random read or write operations, such as databases, virtualization environments, and transactional systems. These applications heavily rely on fast and efficient data access, making high IOPS storage solutions essential for optimal performance. Let's talk about throughput. Throughput, on the other hand, measures the rate at which data can be transferred or processed by a system. It is typically expressed in units like megabytes per second, megabyte per second, or gigabits per second, GBPs. Throughput is a measure of how much data can be moved or processed over a given time interval, representing the system's overall bandwidth or data transfer capacity. Throughput is relevant for applications that involve large data transfers or sequential read-write operations. Examples include video streaming, data backups, and file transfers. A higher throughput value indicates a system with a higher data transfer rate, allowing for faster movement of data between storage devices and servers. While both input-output operations per second and throughput are essential performance metrics, they have different implications and are relevant for different types of applications. A storage system with high IOPS is beneficial for applications with numerous small, random read-write operations while a system with high throughput is more suitable for applications that involve large, sequential data transfers. Storage solutions often strive to strike a balance between high IOPS and high throughput, depending on the intended use case and workload requirements. Understanding both metrics is crucial for making informed decisions when designing and configuring storage systems for specific applications and workloads. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.